A win today puts Newcastle 12 points clear. Well, if Millwall win, they go up to equal third with West Ham behind uh, Newcastle and uh, Tranmere Rovers. Scott, difficult to turn, and has made a mistake, and it's Murray! mistake in the Newcastle defence pounced on by Jamie Morley who seems to make a habit of scoring live on the London match and has done it again here to put Millwall 1-0 ahead that was a real bad mistake Brian because I'm sure the lad must have been aware that he's back to goal he took ages to turn around and he won't need me to remind him that that was a very very bad mistake all credit to the boy Morley took the chance, put it away excellently, and I'm sure he'll remember his visit here today. Yeah, he was telling me before the start, he's never been here before. He said, I can't believe what's happened to me. I think he said it's either only a 12 or 14 games he's had, both here and at Crystal Palace. And here I am in this stadium, but, uh, well, he's crowned it with a goal. But here come Newcastle, Lee playing it in! And Kelly almost forcing it over the line! It's almost like a rugby scrum there! And I think Keller may have got it in the end, at any rate, with about ten players involved there, no more than a yard from the line, and smiling faces coming up from the ruck, I think suggesting that Millwall might have got a free kick. Newcastle not too happy with that, but it's so important when you score a goal that you get one or two tackles in quickly, and suddenly Millwall will look to be caught out in that six-yard area, and what a scramble followed here. Kelly, in go Millwall, and in the end... The referee's whistle there stops it all. It's 1-0 Millwall, and they get the free kick. Centre that Millwall wanted. Sheedy. Hit Sheedy in the face. Keller can pick it up if he wants to. Goodman jumping, Morley's header, a good header, Andy Roberts crossed in by him, and Benison kept his pull, not difficult on a day like this mind you, let it go across his body and was able to get it away, although uh, Phil Barber then came in to make sure that he didn't make too much progress, Newcastle's throw, Robert Lee with it now, Cunningham, back to Keller, Got to measure those passes so carefully on this surface. <laughs> Andy May. Goodman chasing. Cernicek right to the edge of his box. surface there, big Phil Klein, here's Cooper, watching for Lee Clark, hoping that the ball will gather a bit of pace, and then he's given it away, I like Cooper that, to Robert Lee, whipped it in, O'Brien was there, in fact Roberts was a little slow to uh, do anything positive in that Millwall penalty area, Benison to Clark, to Benison, to Lee Clark, in again, played for Lee, 
A shot across the face of the middle wall goal behind for the goal kick. Even at this stage, Brian, I feel the loss of Gavin Peacock is, is quite evident because I think Robert Lee would really prefer to be in this wide position. And uh, he even showed on those two occasions that in that position, he's very, very confident. Charlton will be the first to admit they haven't been quite the same since he's gone. May for the header. Clark again. Cunningham up to Roberts. It's a Millwall throw. Cooper, Goodman chasing, Morley's in the middle, Barber's available for him, Morley will go for this one, it's knocked out to Sheedy, wonderful left foot of his, but this time stopped by Dawes, Barber again, plenty of experience in this left side of Millwall, Ian Dawes who had a great career at Queen's Park Rangers of course, and Phil Barber, the number 11 on the ball at the moment, at Crystal Palace. Dawes gets it in. It's another Millwall throw. Nil-nil, oh, nil-nil, one-nil to Millwall, rather. Clark keeping it in play. Benison knocking it forward. Up goes Kelly. Nice little touch by Clark. Here's Lee. Did well to get away from May there. Another free kick to Newcastle. Taken while the ball was moving. Newcastle fans not happy with that, but Benison knew all about it. towards him in that box. Stevens getting it away. Benison. Robert Lee, a little touch in. Robert Lee playing wide on the right at the moment. That was certainly one of Killer's tackles. through to Goodman again. May, oh, they're losing out now. Kelly taking it up again for Newcastle, looking for support, there's none there. And a weak shot that finished it off. And Millwall continue to lead by Jamie Morley's goal after 21 minutes. We've now played 30 minutes. Newcastle nil, Millwall one. Ryan playing it wide, or how he's playing it wide. 
tied for Clark. That's a goal kick. They're really finding it hard, Newcastle, to break down the Millwall defence. They funnel back very well, Brian. Sit in and hold the zones, Millwall. And when the ball is played back, then they come up those little few yards. They do it very, very well. There's no doubt about it. Ian and Mick have worked very hard with them on that. Newcastle have got to be patient. But Millwall look to me when they have the ball as if they're a very, very good side indeed. Well, they're also facing a very good side. Newcastle United leading comfortably in the first division as Clark finds Kelly. Played in again. The time Dawes is there. well towards Morley get it away but again without great conviction but now they have with a little ball from O'Brien to Sheedy knocked up to Lee off oh. O'Brien couldn't quite get on the end of that one and Bill will gratefully pick it up and go off again except that it's in a touch for a Newcastle throw free kick just on the edge of that touch there but not one there Bill Klein Stephen Howey used to be a striker a nice ball through now to Lee Howey again a good cross Kelly couldn't play it on the end of it the far side and Millwall happy to put that one behind for the corner what a lovely bit of football. Terrific bit of football. Terrific. Here comes the corner now. As we see again, the ball played in. Dawes, fortunately for us, gets it away. Jeffrey and Linesman agree that it's a Millwall uh, throw. 5,000 people on the other side of the field saw it another way. <laughs> they might just be biased. May has been absolutely superb in this first half, but now the ball comes through to Clark. It's a delightful ball from Clark. Benison getting on the end of it. time with Bracewell. Robert Lee's waiting in the middle. Kelly's in there too. Still with Bracewell on the far side. The left for Chidi, and it comes off the post. Caught it on the volley did Kevin Chidi across the face of the Millwall goal and it just clipped off the far post. Sitting up nicely for him and there it is off the post. Millwall breathe again and retain their one goal lead. He's probably as good as anybody, Brian, from that position. I would have banged that one going in. That was a lovely strike. Of course, he could have took it down, but that's that's Kevin Sheedy. It's been great football, O'Brien. Super football on the conditions, I think. And still really ten minutes in the first half to go. Shots. 
trivia young player, former England schoolboy captain, England under 21. This fellow Lee Clark, and you'd bet your bottom dollar that in the next two or three years, a full England cap will probably follow it. Fantastic prospect. Here comes Kelly. Playing for all they're worth for this equaliser now, but that was a poor ball, and Bogey gets back there. Finds Barber with it, and now Goodman on the chase, and he is quick, but people got their first Sony check. I think what Millwall have done, Brian, is set this stall out to defend and catch them on the break, and at the moment, it's working. If they keep their nerve, Newcastle can keep their nerve as well. We're in for a really good contest. Barber. Bracewell. Newcastle's ball. Kevin Keegan on his feet, Terry McDermott sitting down alongside him. Stephen gets it back. Keller on the left foot this time, gets it away to where it's safe. Caught by Keegan, in fact, to uh, great applause. with a throw for Millwall. Kelly, a nice little touchdown for O'Brien. Stopped by Roberts unfairly, a free kick. Now have to watch out for Sheedy here. It's his sort of range. O'Brien hits a very strong free kick. Indeed, it is Sheedy and O'Brien. There's Sheedy over it now. O'Brien's there as well. It's Sheedy, it's shot! Oh. But Keller was alive to it. And needed to be. That was most unusual, Brian. I don't know if the referee blew the whistle then. He must have said you can take it when you like. It's a smashing shot. Wall still forming, and uh, Keller did really well. it before though it's worth repeating Theo as Bill Nicholson always used to say when the ball goes dead good players come alive well Sheedy certainly came alive there and so did. did it Keller yes all credit to everybody I think he was thinking about lining up the wall but he was certainly on the ball it's a goal kick from the wall cold really beginning to fight now I have to say they're very hospitable up here they arrived with tea and hot coffee before the start and just before the start believe it or not the chairman arrived with a uh, bottle of scotch but that's not until afterwards Theo I hope not Brian <laughs> <laughs> here's Dawes whether Colin Cooper would keep his nerve but he did superbly O'Brien spreading it wide Venison. here's Goodman Dawes in it but it had the promise of a really excellent run by Barber from the midfield <laughs> like his own rules there Barry Venison there's a free kick up towards Liam O'Brien Good, positive header there from Keith Stevens, though. Uh, O'Brien was just looking for that little flick on into the Millwall box. And Stevens read that so well. Clark, who's getting through a lot of work, and here he is again. He's got the better of doors this time. Nick the ball there towards Bracewell. Oh, a lovely turn by him. Hit away by Cooper. It's a valuable uh, defensive header there by uh, Millwall's number five. 
Park again. Super game of football this one, and Millwall still leading it by a goal to nil. Harry playing it in, knocked down again. Will Bracewell get on the end of this? He missed his kick. Newcastle claiming desperately for a penalty, but I saw nothing there. Missed kick by Bracewell. Four minutes to go to half time. Newcastle nil, Millwall one. I definitely think the boy Roberts just got the ball and possibly looked worse than it did. On looking back on it, I wouldn't have given a penalty, Brian. I didn't think that even Bracewell really thought it was a penalty either. Roberts just won the ball. But it is a good test, isn't it? He who dares wins. right foot and the Millwall three Millwall players surrounding the referee unhappy with something there and uh, Stevens and Cooper Cooper at any rate has been called to him and uh, Stevens also but whatever it was it's ended amicably and Millwall gets the goal kick two and a half minutes to the interval so far, an excellent first half for Millwall. Bill Klein with a header. Another free kick for Newcastle. Harry Vinnison with it. O'Brien's made a late dash into the box. In fact, hooks it away for Millwall, not very far. Goodman tries to keep it going, but Bracewell turns it wide. Here's Cooper on the far side for Millwall. That's going to be a throw to Newcastle. They want to take it quickly. Sheedy. Defended well, Millwall. And they continue to do so as Venison plays it in again. Stevens that time with a header away. Scott will lift it in there again. There it goes. This time Stevens pops it as far as Sheedy. Doors beaten in the air. A flag up for an offside. And a free kick to Millwall. I wouldn't think that was offside, Brian. Keith Stevens was going back and in fact played them onside. I think they've got the lines on acting a little bit sharp there. Millwall not complaining though. Yes. As we come to a minute to go to uh, Half-time interval. Casey Keller with the kick. Morally chasing this one. Didn't quite get his head to it, though. Barber playing it wide. Goodman. Great worker. Didn't quite manage to uh, do anything there to Millwall's profit. It's a goal kick to Newcastle. a free kick there, or maybe he has. Yeah, the whistle's gone. I think Scott might well get a booking here as well. He looks very uncomfortable, Brian, because he made the mistake and he got the ball there, and because he made the mistake on the pass, I think he overreacted and resulted in fouling Glad Marlin. And it really has been a good test, hasn't it? Good test for both teams. Millwall, I think, uh, as I said, have adopted that attitude, sitting back and taking the pressure, and I think uh, Newcastle will have to be at their very best to try and prize that defence. Cooper still impresses me. I tell you what, Andy May has impressed me greatly today. Number four, I think, has, has done so well just in, some, in, in front of that back four, hasn't he? He has indeed. I didn't think he actually he'd relish that job, but obviously you're a better judge than me. <laughs> Now, 
working so hard, Millwall getting back quickly as soon as Sinishek had the ball, but the whistle has gone for half-time. And what a good first half it's been for Millwall, taking full advantage of a defensive mistake after 21 minutes. Jamie Morley, here he is, scored his seventh goal of the season for Millwall to put them into the lead by one goal to nil here on Frosty St James's Park.